Tamon Rachel Bat Aharon Bat Shlomo La Torah Yamon Betel Ben Abraham Avinu La Haf Torah Tamon Devorah Bat Robert La Brit HaKadesha we're on page, well, you can see that everybody's sitting, so. We're on page 65 and 66, if you'd like to follow in the Sador. But we'll have the words up here. Baruchu et Adonai Hamborach Baruch Adonai Hamborach Le'olam Ha'et Baruch Adonai Hamborach Le'olam Ha'et Baruch Adonai Blessed is the Lord, the Blessed One, for all eternity. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has chosen us from all peoples and given us his Torah. Blessed are you, O Lord, giver of the Torah. Amen. The Aishmati El Khalimur Tishma Khalam Liftor Oto Vian Yosef Tero Limor Dilada Elohim Yane Eshlom Tero Amen. Verse 15, uh, Genesis chapter 41. Pharaoh said to Yosef, I had a dream, and there is no one who can interpret it, but I've heard it said about you that when you hear a dream, you can't interpret it. Yosef said to Pharaoh, It isn't me. God will give Pharaoh an answer that will set his mind at peace. I love how Joseph answers the real question that Pharaoh has. Um, it's not your might, Pharaoh. It's not the technology that Egypt has gotten to. It's not the knowledge. It's not even the wisdom that God blesses us with. But it is God who gives us peace. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher natan lanu torat emet Mechayei olam etamet hokeinu Baruch atah Adonai Notein hatorat given us a Torah of truth and has planted eternal life in our midst. Blessed are you, O Lord, giver of the Torah. Amen. If everybody would please rise. We're on page 67 and 68. Oh, 
are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who selected good prophets and was pleased with their words, which were spoken truthfully. Blessed are you, O Lord, who chooses the Torah, your servant Moses, your people Israel, and prophets of truth and righteousness. Amen. The Haftorah reading is from the book of 1 Kings, chapter 3, reading verse 28. Vaishmeu ko Yisrael et hamishpat asher shahafat hamelek vayiru mibne hamelek kirau kikokmat elohim irkiboho la asot mishpat. And all Israel heard of the judgment which the king had rendered. And they stood in awe of the king, for they saw that God's wisdom was in him to render justice. Amen. Amen. I like what Ray had shared. The focus is really God. Um, to take this verse in context, which is really the summation of the, of the whole chapter, you have to go back to the beginning of, of chapter 3 of 1 Kings. Even though the Haftorah reading is actually designated as verse 15 uh, to the end. Because in the beginning, it says that at Givon, Adonai appeared to King Shlomo in a dream, and he said to him, tell me, what should I give you? Shlomo answered God in verse 9 by asking God to give him wisdom and discernment to rule God's people with justice. The verses 16 through 27 simply recount the story which is known to most of us of the two women, the two babies, and King Shlomo's judgment. But the focus is not the women, it's not the babies, it's not even King Shlomo's wise judgment. It is, in fact, God himself. Verse 28 states that all Israel saw God's wisdom at work in King Shlomo Amen. to render justice. Amen. 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 Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Zor kol ha'olamim Tadim bekol ha'dorot Ha'el ha'neeman Ha'omer ve'yoseh Who says and does, who speaks and makes it come to pass, 
all of whose words are true and righteous. Faithful are you, O Lord our God, and faithful are your words, for not one word of yours is turned back unfulfilled. For you are a faithful and compassionate God and King. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God who is faithful in all his words. Amen.